Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to explore how to fix this problem. Outlook has blocked your message. The daily message limit helps us free the world from spammers. We're sorry it's getting in your way. Thanks, the Outlook team. What that's trying to tell you is that you have tried to send too many emails or you've tried to send a small number of emails to a large number of people using your free Outlook.com account. So there are three sets of numbers you need to be aware of and we'll tell you what those numbers are now and then we'll show you how to get around them. The limit on a brand new Outlook.com account is not specified, but it can be as low as 10 emails per day or a single message with up to 10 people CC'd on it. So that would be particularly low. We've seen Microsoft make claims that it's as high as 100 per day but we've also seen people get the message you're looking at right now with as little as 20 messages. And we've found documentation again that says as low as 10. So that's the first set of numbers you need to know for a new Outlook.com free account. The second is an existing long-term Outlook.com account. Those are accounts that are more than two years old that are used regularly. And that gets to the full free Outlook.com limitation, which is, 300 emails per day is the maximum, or any single message with up to 100 recipients on it. So it's still pretty limited. Now, if you need to send out more than that, how do you get around it? No problem, you can license it. Now in this case, the user already has a Microsoft 365 family license or account. And that gets you up to, I think it's six now. It used to be five, but I believe it's now six look.com email addresses without additional charge. So let's show you how to get around this daily limit problem. So the first thing I did was go to account.microsoft.com. And if you want to save a step, you can add slash services at the end, or you can just click it after. And when you do that, you will go to your account, as you can see here. Now, as shown, the person I'm signed in as is not the owner of this subscription. So that means I had to go find Leela's account and sign in as her to make the addition. So you need to sign in as your primary. You not just one of the subscribers on the family plan, but the actual administrator, the primary. So I've done that, but it's the same address, account.microsoft.com. And you can either click subscriptions or you can just add slash services to the end of your address, whatever is easiest for you. And that will take you to the subscription, as you can see here. And you'll notice it says, share your subscription with five others. This is an older account, which only had five, but I believe all of the new accounts allow you to have six. Regardless, let's click on this because the process is to invite that email account that was limited. So let's click on it. Email invite. You can type in the email address. I'll just paste it in to make it faster and then click share. And what will happen is that email account will receive an invite in their inbox and they simply have to accept it. And as soon as they've done that, the limits are massively expanded. All right, so now we have to sign in to that account. So let's do that. And you can see that the invitation actually went to the junk mail, which is not good, but it did. So if you can't find it, look in your junk mail. And in this case, I will click, it's not junk, and that will move it to the inbox and also never block things from this account again. There we go. Now it's going to show up in the inbox. There it is. Let's click get started. And again, quite strangely, the get started button isn't doing anything. So I'm going to scroll down here and copy this entire link and then paste it into the browser. So let's just paste that in. That shouldn't be necessary. That is definitely an oddity. All right, let's click join now. And now, as you can see, it says, congratulations, Leela. You're now part of the family, blah, blah, isn't that nice? So let's go look and see what that means. As you can see, that account for Leela now exists as a Microsoft 365 family account. And that means it can install Microsoft 365 apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, blah, blah, blah. And it now has a terabyte of storage. But that isn't what we're here for. What we're here for is to get around the email limitation on Outlook.com for sending email and for attachments. 
Okay, so now that this Outlook.com account has been added to a Microsoft 365 family account, it is eligible to send up to 5,000 messages per day, and any single message can have up to 500 recipients on it. And the total storage, you know, if you're sending attachments, can be 25 meg per message, up to a maximum of 150 megabytes per day. So hey, if you found this video useful, big thumbs up would be super appreciated. Subscribe's also always appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech, that's www.urtech.ca, or you can leave a question or comment below, because if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. So have a great day. Bye.